Yo, it's good everyone. This is AO Boxing with Madiba, and we're here to talk about if Regis Progre can upset Devin Haney. So the fight is almost here. Devin Haney will be fighting Regis Progre this Saturday, and I have to say that the promotion for this fight has been very good. It has been entertaining and interesting, which exceeded my expectations. The arena is apparently sold out, so it's safe to say that this is one of the biggest fights of this year. I wish it wasn't on pay-per-view because I think that's counterproductive, but it is what it is. This is a legacy fight for both guys. Haney has a chance to become a two division champion by beating an elite 140 while Regis has the chance to beat a big name and have the best win to date. The stakes are high which makes this an excellent fight. It seems like most people have Haney winning, I do too, but the question is, can Regis upset Haney? And yes, I think there's a strong chance that he could. And the reason is power. I think power will play an essential role in this fight for both fighters. There's no doubt that Regis is the biggest puncher that Haney has faced thus far. Out of 29 fights, Regis has 24 knockouts, and he has stunned and hurt all of his opponents. His biggest punch is the left hand, but he also has power in his right hand. Along with his herky-jerky movements, slick upper body defense, and counter-punching ability, this makes Regis a dangerous puncher, especially for Haney. Haney has a suspect chin. He was hurt badly by Jorge Linares, he appeared to be stunned by Jojo Diaz several times in their fight, and he was hurt by Lomachenko near the end of their fight. And all those guys were smaller guys that weren't considered big punchers. If I'm not mistaken, all of them started their careers at featherweight and then moved up to lightweight where they fought Haney. Haney is moving up to 140 to fight Regis, which technically makes Regis the bigger man. Furthermore, Regis is southpaw. It's no secret that Haney has struggled with southpaws. Haney's best weapon is the jab, and it's the best when he's fighting against orthodox fighters. It allows him to establish his range and maintain his distance. However, the jab is less effective against southpaws. Thus, opponents are able to close the distance more often. And when it does happen, the left hand is Haney's biggest threat. We've seen this in the Jojo and Loma Chanko fights. Both guys were landing a lot of left hands on Haney, especially Loma. But we also have to factor in that Haney gained a lot of experience from those fights and has gotten better. But if Regis can land a clean left hand, then he can definitely hurt Haney. But that's the only way I can see Regis winning. There's no doubt that Haney is the more skilled boxer, plus he has the style to beat Regis. In his last fight against Zorilla, Regis got exposed that he has trouble fighting guys that can box and move. Regis is flat-footed, has slow feet, and he was following Zorilla rather than cutting off the ring, which made it hard for him to close the distance and vulnerable to pot shots punches from the outside and counter punches. Compared to Zorilla, Haney has faster feet, better defense, more experience, and a better ring IQ. So I fully expect him to exploit Regis's flaws. But does Haney have the power to gain a respect of Regis and keep him on the outside? A lot of people believe that Haney has no power, but I disagree. Yes, we all know that Haney does not have big knockout power, but despite that, all of his opponents respected his power. And with Haney fighting at 140, I expect them to have more power and be stronger. It's no secret that Haney was struggling to make lightweight, which had an effect on his power. This observation has been made by many experts and most importantly from prior opponents. Jojo Diaz, Cambosis, and Linares all stated that Haney would be a better puncher at 140 since he wouldn't be draining himself. And we can assume that Haney will be more durable as well. So yes, I think Haney will have the power to earn a respect from Regis and keep him on the outside. But the threat of Regis closing the distance will still be there. I mean, Jojo Diaz has slow feet, but he was still able to close the distance at times. Regis was able to drop Zorilla in the last fight with a straight left hand when he was able to close the distance in the third round. In summary, I think Regis can upset Haney. Power will play a major role in this fight, but I still have Haney winning, regardless of the outcome. The winner should definitely unify with Teofimo Lopez. That fight makes the most sense and will be a big fight. But if Haney wins, I have a feeling that he's going to fight Tank next. But who knows, this is boxing, anything can happen. But thank you for tuning in with AEO Boxing from Adiba. Hit like, subscribe, and more contests coming your way.